Hello, my lovelies. Uh, today we're gonna do fancy hair. Fancy. Um, I had an idea, so we're gonna see if it works. <laughs> so uh, yesterday was actually a wash day, and I did not wash my hair because we are going to use a lot of hairspray today. I know I don't normally, but when we do fancy hair sometimes, event hair as it were, that is when we deploy the hairspray. It's not like we put hairspray on our hair every single day. Torn, why is hairspray so bad? Hairspray is not that bad. It's just that hairspray has alcohol in it, so it will dry your hair out. Not every now and then, but like if you use it every single day, it will dry your hair out, which is why back in the 80s and early 90s, everybody's hair was so crispy. It wasn't just the fact that it was lacquered in place, it was also because we wore hairspray every single day and it sucked a lot of moisture out of our hair but every now and then it's not gonna hurt you so uh, our hairspray of choice for today is my favorite hairspray which actually does have lacquer in it uh, it is it mega freeze you can get this at Walmart um, I have not checked Amazon maybe I should see if they have it but uh, yeah, it is extreme hold because when you put this on, your hair will not move. So we are using hairspray today uh, because I want to do a ton of curls and frizz them out a little bit. I'm going for a fancy, like bridal, prom, event. I just feel fancy and I'm going to go to the grocery store hair because we know I do it. Um, yeah, so we're going to need a few things. We need some pins. If you have spin pins, this would be great. If I could find mine, it would be great, but I can't, so I'm just using my big old bobbies. My bobs. Big old bobbies. Um, that I get from Sally's. Um, I might get away with just using those, but I'm probably also going to use some Amish hair pins or U pins. U pins. Uh, I do have various sizes. Not sure what size we'll need. I'm gonna start with the big ones, but I've got littler ones in case that's what I need. You're also going to need uh, a curling wands or iron. Um, I'm going to, mine's not plugged in yet. I'm not ready for that step, um, but I'm going to use the smallest barrel that I have. Um, if you want yours to look a little wilder and frizzier, go even smaller than this, but this is as small as I'm going because that's what I got. Um, and of course, hairspray. And uh, there's one other thing. And it should be sitting here because I took all my stuff out and now my brain, oh, clips for the curls. I, if I did pull them out. Now where did I put them? There they are. <laughs> um, curl clips, uh, what are those? Uh, if you've seen me do anything with the curling wand before, uh, we need our curls to cool down in a curl formation. So you need some of these little things. Uh, I'll show you what we're doing in a minute. But yes, but basically what I want is like a giant curly ball that looks amazing that we're gonna decorate because I'm just in the mood for decorating today. So, uh, any hoodles, like I said, uh, my hair needs washed. But I figured I would wait, put all this hairspray on it, and then I can just wash it out and my hairspray won't be on my hair for so many days. Um, as far as my bangs go, if they come out, I'll curl them, but I'm planning on getting curls in the front so I'm not gonna super worry about them for right now so what we want to do is separate our hair into two halves um, horizontally uh, as in the part in our hair is going to be horizontally so um, it doesn't need to be super even uh, you don't have to worry about your parts or anything it's all gonna be covered all of it is going to be covered up. So the first thing we're going to do is take the top half and we're going to make two pretzel buns and we're going to leave the tails out. Uh, how much tail you leave out really depends on how long your hair is. Um, as in, yeah. But I'm going to pull everything back smooth because we're going to end up covering everything with curls, curls, curls. I just feel like curls today, you guys. So pretzel bun. Um, thank you, JJJ, for inventing this. I use it all the time. So, up and around, right? And then we're going to go around. 
Now, since it's half of my hair, like I have this much length left, which is way too much for what I'm wanting to do. Um, I'm gonna go around again. Let's see. One more time, I think. One more time should give me right about the length I'm looking for, yeah. So I'm wanting about two feet uh, left out. So and then I'm gonna thread this remainder through here, like so. And uh, I do want it up, you know, towards the front. So I'm going to pin this down. Now, you guys know I consider the pretzel bun a workhorse bun. It is a great way to eat up length, but it's nice because you can adjust how much length it eats up for, you know, various hairstyles. So uh, I'm going to use probably three pins just to keep this stable. Um, if you have a spin pin, it only takes one if you do it right. But I'm gonna use three of these little pins just cause I don't wanna move it around on me. There we go. So I'm just gonna leave this in the front for now. We're gonna do the exact same thing again with what's left over. Another pretzel bun, same length of hair left out. Um, yeah, pinned down the exact same way. All right, let me get that one all pinned and done and then I'll show you how we're gonna go about our curls. Uh, when we get back. All right, back in a second. Alrighty, dolls. So, as is sometimes what happens with my hairstyles, we look insane halfway through. <laughs> it's mm, foundations aren't always pretty. So, this is what we should have. We should have two uh, pretzel ponies, basically. Pretzel bun with the tails left out. We've got one in front, and you see I've got it up pretty high, and then the one in the back which is also, you know, not, it's not super low. Now, I know what you're looking, you're looking at the lines going, ooh, it's all gonna be covered, hopefully. If I am able to make this vision come to fruition, it will be all covered up. So, um, we're gonna start curling. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna curl small sections on our little wands. Then we're gonna pin them down so that our curls will, I'm gonna look in my mirror instead of my viewfinder for this. Um, we have to eat up our length because they don't make curling wands for super long hair. <laughs> they just don't. It is just the way of, all right, that's long enough. Three to five seconds should do it. I know there was a weird edit. Let's just say my pinning was, for some reason, not working today. Uh, it happens sometimes. I hear Amos wanting to get in. I have to open the door in a minute, which I shall. So uh, you don't have to worry about your curls being super uniform right here. And I am just having a time pinning things today. Don't know why. It's just a thing. My curler pins is what I'm talking about. As you can see, I have the drops here. Uh, any hoodles um, you don't have to worry about them being like super smooth and uniform because I'm kind of going for a teased look without actually teasing if I can achieve the vision in my head so uh, usually before we film I try a few um, I'm gonna pick this curler pin up I try it out a few times uh, before presenting it to you so I have all my steps broken down yada yada you know how it goes so usually that's what I do there are a few occasions I don't usually three one it just came to me and we're just gonna try it and I think sometimes you guys like to see how I go about figuring out a hairstyle so that's fun uh, sometimes uh, it's because uh, I'm lazy truth be told and uh, I'll just do it on a first go and see how it works. Uh, because oftentimes I will practice and practice and practice and practice and get it totally down straight. And then when I go to film it, it doesn't work for whatever reason. I just am having a bad day or 
<sighs> who knows? Who knows what happens sometimes? Um, but the other reason is uh, it's one that I'm not going to say it's damaging, but if I repeated it too many times, it would result in damage and or it's one of the ones where we use products uh, because by and large, I don't like to put a lot of drying products on my hair. Um, as you can see, my ends are getting super fragile because quite frankly, I should have cut off this much by now. You see these look thin. This is me trying to get to knee length. This needs to go, it's driving me nuts, but I might sneeze again, just so you know. I'm sneezing again all of a sudden. So that's why this is a first go. So that's why I'm hoping that my vision, my experience is telling me that my vision will work. So let's see. So let me curl all the rest of this. Like I said, I've taken little sections. Um, so I'm gonna curl all of this, pin it, curl all of this, pin it. I'll pop back for a second so you can see what that looks like because sometimes it just helps for my visual learners. Um, yeah, so let's just skip ahead to that. Alrighty, just a short check-in. Uh, all of our curls are up. It went a lot smoother, as it usually does when I'm not actually filming for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, everything's up and pinned and we are letting it cool. So I will be back after the takedown because I'm just taking pins out and letting the curls spring forth. But uh, after that is when we get into the difficult part. Difficult for us because it's not something we usually do, which is work with hairspray. <laughs> It'll be fine. We can do it. It's be adventurous today. All right. All sec. right. Takedown is over. Let's look and see what we have so far, which should be some healthy curls. Yes. Uh, and like I said, we're still not done. Amos still wants in. Amos, then come in. Come on. He doesn't want in. He just doesn't want the door closed. He's turned into Murphy. No closed doors. Okay. So. As we can see, this is what we're working with, and I know right now you're looking at it going, what is it supposed to be, Torin? We're getting there. So, we have all these curls. We're going to pull all these curls apart um, and make more curls. We're going to make as many little curls as we can. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pull apart curls, and then we're going to hairspray said curls. Now you see we're getting a little fuzz. See there's no fuzz. These are nice and smooth, right? We're getting a little fuzz, a little frizz. What we're going for. I told you I have visions in my head sometimes so we're gonna see if we can get this to work. Um, yeah, so pull apart curls and then we're gonna get the hairspray and we're gonna arrange our curls because there's just something in my head that I see and I want it. I want to achieve it. So, uh, yeah, let me finish pulling these apart, um, and then we'll get to the hairspray. And yes, pull apart all of the curls. One's up top, one's in the back. Back right. in the back. Now we arrange the help of hairspray and some pins. Uh, so what we want to do is the curly mess up here. This one's a longer one. We get some of these smaller curls, pull them to the front for, like, the showcase, I guess. I'm going to pull these up. Add some pins, add some hairspray. Now this is not what we would call one of my typical, I guess, hairstyles. But like I said, vision, add a vision. <laughs> What's does that mean to when you talk all crazy like that? Oh, I get an idea in my head and I want to see if I can do it. And I just wanted to see if I could make like a teased looking curly ball sort of deal that's what I'm going for so we're gonna see not necessarily a ball ball but you know I wanna I wanna see if I can get some sort of like 90s curly fantasy happening Joe and I watched a lot of 90s music videos this weekend for whatever reason and yeah I'm just feeling it so like I said we're kind of going for a little bit of a tease look without teasing um, now I know we gotta do the back 
So where we are so far is this. Um, and we have pretty much covered that. So we're going to bring this up and cover the rest of this, also covering where this is sticking out. Hopefully, we'll see how well we do. I also want to be sure and get some curls over here to cover up where our parts are. So I'm going to arrange, because this is going to take a lot of me looking in the mirror, arranging. But basically what we're doing is we're squishing our curls up. We're spraying them with hairspray, putting them in place. If we need extra help, we put a pin. That's it. When I'm all done, I'm going to spray the crap out of it and put some decorations in it. So, back in a sense. So at this point, I have achieved like 90s fly girl, right? Just a look, and it's not a bad look, uh, too much 90s. But I want to take this and then turn it into something a little less 90s fly girl, a little more like bridal, but still like 90s bridal because it was big hair back then, y'all. Um, not 80s big hair, but still big. So what do we think? Yeah, we're almost there. Uh, but I wanted to show you kind of the transition bit of 90s fly girl because I thought it was cool that I was actually able to achieve such a thing. Any noodles. All right, so the next step, since we are okay right here, I'm actually gonna end up taking the curls all the way up and tucking them in a little better, as it were, um, and creating the ball. So let me do that step. Uh, how do we do that? Let me just, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we've got this, right? It's looking good. We're gonna pull it up a little bit. We're just gonna take some pins, run them right in to those buns underneath. Look at that, it stays amazing. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll be back. There we have it, dolls. We have achieved my vision. Um, it actually came to pass. So um, one tip when you're using your hairspray, and like you're spraying here, what I was, what was occurring was I had like a little flat spot right here where my two buns joined together. Um, yeah, you just hairspray and then pull the hair up in the shape that you want it, and then hairspray it again. Um, let me make sure. There we go. So this is how it looks. As you see, you can kind of see the bottom bun, but I think it's pretty well disguised by the texture of the hair on top of it. Um, yeah, this is really big, uh, but that's what I wanted. I wanted like a 90s bridal style, which was, which is, they were big in the 90s. So uh, we are gonna decorate it since it is kind of bridal and that's what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna use my bridal pins uh, from Faye Box. I do believe these are in the Amazon, my Amazon link down below, I think, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so let's decorate. And I'm gonna, since we went with the bigness, I'm gonna keep it relatively classy today. Um, and we're only decorating one side, uh, I think. I tried to do it that way. If you look, I have like full of curls on this side and tuck these back further because things were asymmetrical in the 90s, y'all. I was there. I remember. <laughs> but I just want to do like everything. Sorry, I'm going to just back up a minute so I can actually see myself in my mirror. Um, I just want to do the one, the one side. Um, that's just the way things were. I guess we could balance it out a little bit. I don't know. It's really, it should really be on one side. <laughs> um, one more. Let's see if I go forward if that's better for y'all. I'll put this one up actually in the curls. Yeah? Yeah. I'm so excited. This turned out so nice. Um, is it for everyone? No. Um, I'm sure some of you will be like, oh my god, it's so big. It is. Um, but it's, it's in there good. Maybe I can talk to you this. Take me out someplace. It's going to be hard and crispy. There's no way around it. I used hairspray. I didn't use a ton of hairspray, but I used enough. 
hairspray. Um, so it's not soft to the touch or any of that, but as you can see, it's not gonna move either. Um, but on your wedding day, that's what you want. Because you're gonna get down, get down. And you don't want your hair getting all, yeah. But in the 90s, there's, there's thunder. Um, in the 90s, there were like two things that would go with his hair. One was the um, like tiara that comes like this, and they would have another hoof, but you'd either have that, or they would simply just tuck it up underneath uh, the veil and let it come down, which, hello, they're all scared, uh, which is what I would do. Um, if you do want to do this for bridal hair, uh, it doesn't have to be as large as mine. You can compact it down, but I went for big. Maybe you want big. The higher the hair, the closer to God. That's an old Southern saying. Any handles, yeah. Um, just tuck underneath, and then you can put on this side. Or they have these. Where is my... Uh, I should have one. I just saw... Oh, it's up high. Um... They have these as well. You've probably seen these bridal combs. Um, I don't use it very much, as you can see from all the dust, uh, because those teeth are really close together. I think at some point I'm probably gonna cut all of these teeth off and put prongs in. Um, but this is beautiful. But you could have tucked that in to the side as well. Or if you want to go for like more of a mohawk deal, you could tuck it in both sides. But I want one side because. Just trust me when I tell you it's correct. <laughs> All right, that's it for me today. Um, I wanted to see if I can do it. I can. What are we gonna call it? I don't know, 90s bridal style probably. Um, with a little fly girl thrown in halfway so you can see how cute it is. But um, yeah, I wanted to do a 90s bridal style, so we did, because this is my channel and I said so. All right. That's it for me today. Uh, stay tuned for pictures of y'all and your gorgeous hair and assorted sundries. And I am going to go hold my dogs because I'm sure everybody's shaking right now. Yes, we have already commenced the vibrations. So uh, I will see you guys on uh, Tuesday. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.